everybody, it's Crystal Ann Compton. How are you doing today? I hope you are having a beautiful day wherever you are on the planet today. In this video, I want us to talk to you a little bit about dreaming. Well, actually, specifically, I want to talk to those folks who don't think that they dream, who never remember their dreams, and also people who have low quality dreams. And the reason I think this is important is because, in my opinion, dream time, the state of dreaming, is the most fertile psychic landscape that we can encounter. It is just a beautiful space into which spirit can deposit messages, information, energy, and downloads, and we don't resist it when we're asleep. During the daytime, as we're going around in our day-to-day -day life and we're at work or we're hanging out with our kids, it's a lot more difficult to hear a message from spirit because we're distracted, we're reacting, or maybe we're resisting something. Or if spirit actually manages to get a message in through all that chaos, we often fear it or we doubt it or second guess ourselves. So there's all this stuff that, all these shields that we're actually throwing up that keep us from receiving this information. But when we sleep, there are no shields. We're just open to rendezvous with spirit in this way. So it is important, therefore, that we acknowledge how important dreaming is and work to have the highest quality dreams possible. But we have to kind of start at the beginning here. In fact, this video is inspired by one of my viewers. She actually left this comment on a video a few weeks ago. She said, hey, Crystal, what about not dreaming? I haven't had a dream in years except for one. So I'm going through this awesome awakening, but still nothing. I've said intentions and nada. But I keep thinking that it's because I can't comprehend them now, maybe. Any ideas? Thanks, Chrissy Borden. Great question. I love it mainly because I've actually heard a lot of clients and students say the same thing, that they just don't believe that they dream. And again, the first thing I want to do is dispel that myth because it's absolutely not true. You, Chrissy, and everyone else out there absolutely dream. You dream every single night and you likely have more than just one dream. In fact, you have to dream. If you didn't dream, you would die. The brain needs to offload, off gas, slough away all of the things from the day before, the week before. This is how it processes itself and cleans itself. It's just a part of being a human. We dream. We have to dream. Your issue, Chrissy, is that you don't remember the dreams that you are having, and that's where we need to get you. you. You either don't remember them or you're not conscious and aware within them, which is a really cool state to be. This is called lucid dreaming, when you actually get clear and kind of wake up within a dream, and then you can start commandeering the dream. It's really cool. But you can't even remember them, so we have to kind of get you to the position where you can at least remember them. So what I'm going to do with you, Chrissy, and everybody else is I'm going to share three techniques or hacks with you today that will get you to the next level in your dream spectrum. So if that means you don't remember your dreams, we'll get you to the next level, which will be remembering your dreams. If you're somebody who already remembers your dreams, but the dreams themselves are low quality, maybe they don't make sense, they're chaotic, we will employ these techniques and get you to the next level, which is to have vivid dreams, dynamic dreams, maybe even spiritually evidential dreams. If you already have spiritually evidential dreams, but you want to kick it up a notch, these techniques will help there too, so that you can start having things like lucid dreams and out-of-body experiences. It's a weird, wild world out there, and dreaming is our doorway into it. So let's start with these three hacks or techniques that will help you. The first is something I've talked about many times, but only because it works, and that is the dried herb mugwort. If you haven't tried mugwort, you gotta get out and try mugwort. It's powerful. I don't know why it works. No clue. I just know that it does work. Now, I use mugwort in a certain way. I get the dried herb and I put a handful of it into a pouch, kind of like a velvet pouch, and I tie it so it's secure so the herb is not going to fall out of the pouch. And then I would take that pouch and I would slip it into my pillowcase. And when I slept, I'd make sure that the pouch was not like right up against my face, because that would be uncomfortable, but about three to six inches away from my face. So it, it's near where I'm sleeping. And 
For me, within a couple of days max, my dreams are affected every single time. I'm not using it right now, but I, I should, and I have some because again, dreams are so important. Now you might be a little bit of a hard case. Maybe for you, it'll take a week or two, but I don't know why mugwort will make a difference. And again, wherever you are on that spectrum of dreaming, it's going to take you to the next level. Mugwort, I think you can get it online. I know you can get it at some metaphysical shops. It's powerful. The second hack or idea that I have to offer is something I've only recently stumbled upon myself, and that is resistant starch. Resistant starch, I know that sounds strange, and it is. I actually found resistant starch because I was looking for like whatever I could kind of get my hands on to heal my gut. Because of course, the health of your gut is the cornerstone of, of your whole life and your well-being. If your gut's out of alignment, then you're, you're not living a happy life. And, and I know my gut needs some work. And so I came upon some research about resistant starch and I decided to try it. What it's supposed to do is it's supposed to feed all the good bugs and it's just supposed to nurture that flora and fauna so that you can regain your full health. But one of the byproducts or side effects of ingesting resistant starch is you have vivid dreams, colorful dreams, super meaningful and dynamic. And I don't know, again, just like mugwort, I don't know why this is, I just know that it works. If you're interested, what I do is I ingest a powder of dehydrated organic green bananas. I found a blend on Amazon. You know, I go, I go through all the products and I look at them all. And I take about a tablespoon, one to two hours before I go to sleep. So it's working on my gut, but it's also helping me to fall asleep, which sometimes can be hard for me, stay asleep and also have high quality dreams. So you might want to try that, Chrissy, and anybody else. Last but not least is the one-two punch. This is my old standard. This is something that I teach everybody and it works. This is the combination of priming and journaling. Priming and journaling. This will call for consistency. Dare I say discipline, meaning you have to stick to it if you want to see the results. Now, Priming is essentially inducing yourself before you fall asleep in this capacity as I'm speaking about it. Basically what you do is you get into bed and you get real drowsy. We call this the hypnagogic state, the state of interbetween when you're not fully awake but you're also not asleep yet. So you're kind of just in that tranced out state which is, by the way, a really highly psychic state to be in, you get into that drowsy space and then you start to recite affirmations. These affirmations are telling your subconscious what it is that you want to manifest. And by the way, affirmations and priming the subconscious is good for anything that you want to manifest, whether that's a relationship, money, better health, but it also happens to work really well when you're trying to induce yourself to have dreams and to recall your dreams. Now, when you are priming yourself, you are reciting statements indicative of the outcome that you seek to manifest. You are also reciting these statements in the present tense, never in any other future tense or past tense, always present tense, because the subconscious, our awareness, exists outside of space and time. So if we're telling the subconscious what to do, we never put a delay in there. For example, one priming statement would be, I have spiritually evidential dreams, or I always go lucid when I dream. That's a present tense affirmative priming statement. However, if I added one word in there, I would create distance and delay. Meaning if I say, I will have spiritually evidential dreams, or I will go lucid in my dreams, that indicates that it's not happening now. It's going to happen at some time in the future, but it's not now. And so the subconscious receives that and notes that there's a delay. It's not happening now, so it's not going to manifest it now. I have spiritually evidential dreams. I dream vividly and dynamically. I meet my spirit guides in my dreams. I rendezvous with my deceased mother in my dreams. And so on and so forth. You cater the statements to wherever you are on that dream spectrum. Priming is powerful just as affirmations are powerful, especially when they are delivered to the subconscious from that hypnagogic or trance-like state. 
even if all you did was priming, you would be successful. Now, it may take a little bit of time, and again, you have to stick at it, but within a few days to a few weeks, you will start seeing a change in your dreams or you will start remembering your dreams. However, when you use priming in conjunction with journaling, that's that one-two shot. That's powerful, and those evidences or that manifestation happens a lot more quickly. So journaling is the act of waking up in the morning or in the middle of the night, whenever you wake up, and writing down everything you remember about your dreams. So if you're somebody who dreams vividly already, you're writing every single thing down. If you're somebody who doesn't remember your dreams, you want to start with how you're feeling when you wake up. Maybe you woke up and you're feeling anxious and you don't quite know why you're anxious, but that's what it is. Write that down. Maybe you wake up and you're feeling sad and you don't remember a dream connected to that emotion, but nonetheless, that's how you're feeling. You write that down. Writing, physically writing something out embeds the energy of the intention always. And when that energy is embedded, it has momentum. It creates that which we seek to manifest. And so if we are writing these things down because our intention is that we will remember our dreams, then the more we write, the more we're faithful to the discipline of writing, the sooner we will recall our dreams. That's just how it works. So writing everything down as soon as you wake up and priming yourself at night when you go to sleep, this is a technique that hardly ever fails. Now, you might be somebody who's resistant to remembering your dreams for some reason. Maybe you're throwing up a shield around that. I, I don't really know. I don't think that's what it is. I really think it's just working with yourself, the workshop of yourself, using these disciplines and these techniques and these hacks to shift your awareness around this particular topic. Now, you also asked, or you said that maybe you just weren't ready. I think that's what you said. How did you phrase it? You said, I keep thinking that it's because I can't comprehend them now, maybe. And I, I don't think that's what it is. I... I, I just think that you're not habituated to dream recall. You are not in the energetic composition of remembering your dreams. And if you want to remember your dreams, you're going to have to switch your energetic composition. This concerns your actions. This concerns your intentions. This concerns your awareness. Practice this. Do these things. And that will shift. And you will begin to remember your dreams. Again, everybody dreams. We have to dream. It's just a matter of becoming aware of our dreaming and also remembering those dreams because again, this is the landscape where spirit is much more inclined to give us messages, information, and energy. And we want to be conscious and aware of that. All right, guys, I love you. Thank you so much. Please like and subscribe and share this video. And until next time, I have got nothing but love for you.